Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Before I start starting this video, if you see this video about the seed, if it's really good, please subscribe. I will be getting better recording equipment. And if you wonder why I haven't made videos for a while, um, my internet has been off for a little bit. But also, just remember, subscribe and leave a like. Um, please don't exit out of the video, even though it's kind of bad recording equipment. Please don't. Anyway... I'm gonna get this started. Um, this is a seed showcase, not necessarily the best survival seed, but I just decided to use it. This is one of my old titles for one of my old um, seed showcases, and it just kind of got a lot of views. So um, I will be doing this more since it looks like people like um, making more and more worlds, apparently. So, first of all, this is where you're gonna be spawning right here. You're just gonna, well, not on this pillar because obviously you're gonna be spawning like right here. And then you're gonna be like, whoa, whoa. Now, if you do end up traveling this direction, there's not really much except for this big jungle biome. I could not find um a jungle temple, but I've not searched too much, so it's still possible that you could find a jungle temple. I'm hearing eat it at this one. Okay, so, um, I, I could not find a desert temple. I, I actually don't think there's any. The only reason I, okay, here's this little mountain right here. The only reason I marked this mountain, because you really don't see desert uh, mountains um this big, like little desert mountains, and I thought it was just a cool little thing. And then there's a little desert well. Um, I thought there was another one, one of those rare ones around here. Right, let me find it. It's somewhere. Well, either way, um, and now I'm going to show you, there's one village in this world so far I've found. I've been on this world for a little bit, so a like would be appreciated, but if you don't like the video, just please don't exit out because of the recording equipment, because eventually I will get a better one. Most likely during the summer, I'm going to work for my dad, get a few, uh, probably $100 saved up, buy a really good recorder thing. Um, if anyone knows a good place to go buy one of those or a good recording equipment, Leave it in the comments below. It'd be very appreciated. And so, um, wait. Okay, okay. So spawns over here. So if you had, so from spawn, you see where you are. You're gonna be spawning around there. You're gonna head to this other little place up here. And like, there's a bunch of wolves around here too. So you can probably for the first night get a wooden sword and get a dog to protect you and get some zombie flesh to feed your dog. Cause that's yeah. And if so, so when you're starting to head over here through this mass of jungle biome, you can also maybe make a fishing pool by killing a spider and capture a cat. So you can already have two of those made. So after you reach here, um, make sure not to fall in this lava pit. But also, if you do want lava, it's right here. <laughs> or whatever. And you reach this village. Um, let's try and get a count of the population. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like there's about seven. But yep. Well, actually, it looks like um, I think about seven to eight people here. So um, it's a pretty good size village. Um, personally, I would either try to make an iron golem if you don't have enough iron for that. Maybe put a little fence around it, or just maybe stay around there and protect him. And also, since we're here, if you want a little um way to make, if you're on hard, make zombies not break down the doors. Here's a little way. See, uh, okay, if you break the steps, so the villagers can still get in here like that, but zombies, they can't break down the door, because every time they jump, they try to hit it, and then it instantly repairs itself, because if you don't keep hitting it and stuff, um, while you're on survival, zombies can't break down the door, so if you want to do that, just as a little measure, so just, when you're in here, just break all of these little steps, and, um, you might want to put a door on a few of these houses. Or you can just loot the village, up to you, all up to you. Now, I could not find any temples, sadly, but technically they don't really do too much. But there are these giant jungle biomes. So, um, so let's say if you like living in jungle biomes, or, um, I mean, they're freaking pretty awesome. Or if you want to take a really good picture, man, this looks sick right here. You know, the lake and stuff. Personally, I personally think it's a pretty good world. Um, if you want to ask my opinion about it, but obviously I'd say it's addictive. Now, 
Um, as you probably noticed, um, there, uh, well, there's like, um, you think this would be an ocean, but this is actually, um, a massive, massive swamp. Okay, it's massive. And if you come over here, um, if you come over here, see how it's dark on the kind of map, I'm not sure if you see that very well. But on the very top of the map around there, it's very dark. And that means when it's dark like that, means it's really deep like this. That means it actually is an ocean. Um, and if you want to, and now, um, since the video is about the end in a little bit, um, I want to tell you the secret that actually where I got seed from. This is the same seed as Minecraft Odyssey. Now, the weird part about it, it's not exactly like the old seed. It's the same seed, apparently, but it's not the old seed. But it's kind of like it. See, in um, the old seed, it only had one little ocean, but it had a bit of swamp and stuff. So, this is actually the seed just changed around a bit. I saw the similarities. It's, they have a few of them. It still hasn't changed. And also, the seed will just be down in the description below. Um, so, if you just want to go check that out. And I will also be making more videos on this since I know everyone likes to have survival world. Most people like to have a little more than one. Like, people like to have multiple, which I really don't really like to do that. I like to have maybe one or two. Personally, I only have one, but I play on Tyler's. And now my dad started Survival, um, survival World, you know, Wolf Hunter. I play on his, too. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm just going to have a flyby by the map. And also, if you notice, there's even another jungle biome. And this is another big jungle biome, and I like how the mountain kind of rises up here. So if you want an awesome, another awesome picture, you could climb up here and, you know, have it. It's actually a pretty cool spot right here. Climb up here, you know, try not to fall off, because most likely you'll die if you fall off there. But, so if you want to have another awesome picture, just somewhere, or you could even build your house up here and have this view. Or if you are, and... Let's say if you don't technically like the desert biome, this video will end at 10 minutes anyway. But if you let's say if you don't like this um desert biome, if you don't like desert biomes, well it's okay. After spawn, you never have to see one again if you don't want to. This um you can either you don't necessarily have to head to that village, but you can if you want. Um, if you just come over, you can just head over here where this good flat biome is, it's a good chunk where you could build a castle or just you know, good little house and stuff. It's a good little river system. And also, um, well, this is actually a pretty cool world. I highly advise to get it. And also, if you don't like where that village is, you can actually make your own village. Um, if you make houses, make sure they have doors and torches. And you, and let's say if you, um, and then you can just have a zombie village randomly spawn. And if you get a weakness potion, it has to be throwable. You throw the weakness potion on them, and then give them the golden apple. It will just instant. It'll um well not instantly, but you want to get them trapped somewhere. Give them that, and um it'll still burn in the daylight till they're a normal villager, and then it'll take a little bit. But do not leave them alone, or that will despawn. But just kind of stay on them, okay? Just keep looking at them. It'll take a minute or two. Just maybe go get a snack or watch TV while you're waiting. And he'll turn into a normal villager. And then when you let him out, um, usually he should just go to the house. And also, I want to talk about the cave systems really quick. Uh, my last subject in this world. There's a bunch of little cave systems in here. Um, and um, I went down a few of them. And let's just say um, a few of them might hook you up pretty good. I'm just just saying. Um, but that'll be all for now. Um. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you. Please subscribe. I know I have bad, bad recording equipment now, but I will get better. So please subscribe for more awesome content. And um, um, also some news. And also, guys, I wanted to show you this last thing, my last subject, because I said I'll end the video. Ten minutes. There was the sugar cane under the ice I noticed a little bit ago. And I thought, ah, uh, so sick. Cause it's just sitting there randomly under the ice. So if you... So if you want to do something cool like that, you can, or do whatever. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here. 
Um, peace out. I guess I'll see y'all next time. Remember to subscribe and leave a like. And you can use the seed. And if you're another um, YouTuber, you can also do a seed showcase on this. Just give me the credit for finding the seed. Because technically I did. But anyway, I'm going to end the video. Peace out, YouTubers. I'll see y'all next time.